Hello everyone. I am here to present a presentation on the general greedy method graph coloring problem. First of all, I introduce myself. My name is Rushikesh Lakshman Rao Gore from third year CSC department, Anna Saheb Dange College of Engineering and Technology, Ashta. These are the contents. I would like to explain in details in the further presentation. First of all, we will see the basic idea of our topic. To construct the solutions to an optimization problem piece by piece through a sequence of choice that are feasible, locally optimal, irrevocable, irrevocable, irrevocable. For some problems, they yield an optimal solutions for every instance. Then we will see what is a general greedy method. General greedy method is one of the strategy for solving problem just like divide and conquer and other. Greedy algorithm follows optimal choice at each stage which intent of finding global optimization. In other words, we find to, we have to find our best method options out of main, many present phase. Such we can't go back to look for more alternate solutions. Let us understand with the example. If you want to travel from location A to location B in a which we have to cover this journey. Lots of resources, lots of resources are available to cover this journey. First we walk. First is by walk. Second is by bus. Third is by train. Fourth is by aeroplane. But if the condition is to reach the destination in five hours, so by work, walk and bus, it gets difficult to reach destination in given time. So, we could find our solution is by train or by plane. This is our feasible solution. In greedy, in greedy method, think about the minimum cost and maximum cost. So, in this particular problem, we think about the minimum cost, so we select the minimum cost by train. This is our optimal solution. So, the greedy algorithm used to solve the problem of optimization. The greedy algorithm is... Before optimization, we see feasible solutions. The solutions which satisfy the condition given in the problem statement. In other, in our problem train and plane satisfy the condition in given time period. Then what is optimal solution? The solutions which is already feasible solution and give the minimum cost. Train is optimal solutions gives minimum cost. Then we will see what is optimization. Optimization is a problem in which required either minimum result or maximum result. An optimization problem, an optimization problem is one in which you want to find not just the solutions but the best solutions. Let us see with the example of greedy method. If you want to travel from A to B, starting with A, from A there are three ways to go towards B. So, the problem is required to a minimum cost at reach the destination. So, it goes to 2, covering a minimum rate. After 2, it goes to 3 with a minimum cost rate. After, where in 3, it has 2 ways, 4 and 6. But, but 6 is a minimum cost. And through 6, uh, 5 is our destination place. So, we go through our destination place. So, we select this. Then, we will see the greedy algorithm. In greedy approach, D is a domain for which solution is to be obtained in size n. Initially, assume solution is less than 0. If i is less than minus 1 to n then initially selection of solution from d 
if feasible solution is s then also how have the ready algorithm works is shown in the below picture let us see with the graph coloring problem what is the graph coloring problem in a grid method graph coloring is a process of assigning colors to the vertices of a graph it ensures that no adjacent vertices of a graph are colored with same color the post will discuss a greedy algorithm for a graph coloring and minimize the total number of colors used where a time complexity is o v square plus e for worst case this is the picture showing a graph coloring problem we will discuss in detail in further these are the terminologies in graph coloring problem these are the terminologies we will like to see first chromatic number the smallest number of colors need to color a graph g is called its chromatic number for example the following can be colored with two colors then k colorable graph a k colorable graph coloring use at most k colors is called k coloring and the graph can be assigned a k coloring is k colorable k chromatic graph a graph is k chromatic if its chromatic number is exactly k then we will see the steps steps for graph coloring problem first step is color vertex color vertex with first color we consider it as v second step now consider the remaining as v minus 1 vertices one of one by one and do the following color the currently pick vertex with the lowest number colored if it has no been used to color and its adjacent vertex if it has been used then choose the next least number color if all the previous used colors have been used then assign a new color to a currently picked vertex let's see with the graph coloring problem example in above example in our example is the uh, the graph is shown where we have to assign a colors to this color uh, assign graph coloring problem to this example graph is given and some colors are given let's see let us say the blue green red are the colors in this adjacent vertices can't have same color it's not adjacent vertices same colors can be on different ways condition neighboring color vertices should not have same colors this type of solutions can be made through backtracking these are the different ways of above example to solve in graph coloring problem in first first way uh, we say that 0 0 is a starting vertices we are assigning a color blue where one is its adjacent vertices but we cannot have a same color to it that's why we use second color green then two two is also adjacent to is also adjacent to one that's why we use different colored that is blue when we about talk about 3 3 is also adjacent to 2 that's why we use different color that is red also for 4 4 is not an adjacent to 3 that's why we should take red and the last phi phi is not phi is not adjacent to 1 where we can take the color green these are the applications of graph coloring problem we would like to see 
first making schedule on or timetable this problem can be represented as a graph where every vertex is a subject to an edge between two vertices mean there is a common student so this is a graph coloring problem where minimum number of time slots are is equal to the chromatic number of graph then we will see the second pseudo pseudo is also a variation of graph coloring problem where every call represents a vertex there is an edge between two vertex if there are some row or some column or some block third register allocations in register allocation compiler optimizations register allocation is the process of assigning a large number of target problem program variables into a small number of cpu registers fourth map coloring geographically maps of countries or states where no two ways adjacent cities cannot be assigned same color for colors are sufficient to color any map thus these are the applications these are the references i have taken to prepare this presentations thank you